G'day guys, it's Jara here and today we're playing Seduce Me the Otome. So, we're about to find out who these people are. That's when I saw them, saw who. Lying on the floor was a ground of a group of men. They were all unconscious, but there was no explaining as to why they were all here in the first place. I dropped my bags as I let the door close on its own behind me. Huh? Who the heck are these guys? Why are they here? What's going on? Um, some of them had open wounds. The blood was staining the floor, and the scent was lingering with the air. I couldn't help but feel bad for them. It's seemingly, but nevertheless, I was shocked and a bit angry at this sudden intrusion. My mind suddenly went for care and concern to confuse to demanding answers. Who are you guys? No response. I'll call the police. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Still nothing. None of them seem to be awake to answer or respond to me. It seems surreal. There are random strangers in a house I just moved into, but I want to answer quickly. That was until... <gasps> Woman, Get away from me! I'm going to let me kiss you. Huh? Um... I'm sorry, what am? Huh? How how does how how does how 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 does this make any logic What? What? Huh? I I don't f Huh? I couldn't believe it myself. But within a mere blink, one of the men went from lying on the floor to being right in front of my face. What was even more more was the fact that I felt serene and calm about it. So a desire burning from my chest, telling me to accept his kiss, even when my mind refused. Uh, Good. Go ahead. As he kissed me, I could feel my body grow weak. I didn't know why, but that kiss was draining me of energy, and yet it was so good it made my heart sing. It was a strange and tingling feeling that danced over every nerve of my body. It feels scree streams of entangled energy run up my body into my lips. It felt odd, but at the same time, it felt Sarah, amazing. What the hell is happening? Mm -hmm. The person kissing me, Sam, I was said, his name? Stop. I glanced behind him. Now. Mm. Fine. Finally, he pulled back, and I was left staying there in a daze. What? I couldn't tell what was going on. My mind was completely enwrapped by the kiss and my thoughts and melted Please depth my of my forgotten memory. He's a bit reckless. At least I feel a hell of a lot better than you right now. Because you used your abilities on her. A abili abilities? <laughs> Sam, you're such a reckless brute. Taking advantage of a beautiful young woman like her. Shut that pretty what? boy mouth of yours before I rip it off your pretty boy face. Jeez, you guys, can we not fight right now? Not all of us are in the best state. I guess you are right, Matthew. I agree. What is happening? Hmm. Why is there so many guys in my house? However, uh, as these men got up and started to chat freely, my thoughts began to reassemble, and I remember my confusion and anger once again. Only now, multiply tenfold. Huh? What? Did you say something beautiful? And I exploded. What is going on? Why the hell are you here in my house? Why are you all wounded? Why did you kiss me? Who are you guys? I couldn't hand, couldn't help exploding, but after being taken advantage of and being left in a mustard state, my words escaped without filter. I definitely scared the men around me, even the men who kissed me. Wait a second, Ouch. the guy who kissed What's me. What's your problem? What's your problem? You can't just go around forcing people to kiss you like that. You can't some. Uh, are you some kind it of pervert? 
It might mean nothing to you, but it means a lot to me. Ow! Hey, what was that for? I know first kisses aren't exactly amazing and full of sparkles and something out of a fairy tale, but at least expected it to be more than just something forced. Stop making such a big deal out of it. Mmm. Are you asking to get punched again? It's not like I can somehow take it back. Ask for apology. She at least apologize, that would suffice. As if to him, he muttered something under his breath. Apologies aren't my forte, but I'll what try is? my best. Okay, mm -hmm. fine. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, sorry about what? Like I went too far. I didn't he sighed around his fingers for his head. That way. It's just, I act on impulse, okay? It's difficult to control myself in. Yeah. What am I saying? I don't know. It's okay, I get what you're trying to say. Thanks for the yeah, apology. No problem. What was this? What was this? Anyway, if you try to pull any funny business in the future, just fair warning, I take quite taekwondo. What? I think I've begun enough. Time to get back to the main issue. So, what exactly are you all doing in my house? Miss, please forgive us for our intrusion. We didn't know this abode belonged to anyone, nor did we have the time to take that into consideration. What do you mean? You don't just we were, in barge into people's homes. As wounded as we are currently, we just escaped from a deadly fight that could have ended our lives. Luckily for us, your home was near and the windows were unlocked, so we quickly came inside. The last thing I remember, there were laws preventing strangers from stepping on private property. Although, considering the severity of their wounds, it would have to be serious. I guess that explains the wounds, but not why he kissed me. He had absolutely no right well, to do that. Lovely, flustered lady. It's hard to explain, truly. We're not exactly normal. No shit, Sherlock. Not normal? What are you guys, demons or something? Ah, so was joking, but the boys seem to take my question differently. Hmm. <laughs> well, yeah, actually, something like that. What? Uh, we're huh? incubi, miss. Demons who consume and use sexual energy of humans to survive. What? Incubi, the fable demons that exist to haunt humans and make them sex crazed monsters, the mythical beasts that could look like anyone just to get into. Is imagery monster oh, you only saw in movies or TVs? We're telling the truth. Do you think she's still processing it? Yes. yes. And she'll understand right about. Right, it was funny while it lasted, but it's time to cut the joke short. Incubus don't exist. There's no way they exist. Ahem. That would be practically Incubi impossible. Incubi is the correct plural form. And yes, we do exist. Prove it. Very as soon as the words left my mouth, I instantly regret that. Go ahead. <laughs> Very well. My sweet, you're so tempting with such non-belief. Let me ease your mind with a tender kiss. I promise, you'll enjoy every minute of it. And maybe, you'll even want more. Ew. What? No. Once again, I was lost in a pool of calm and serenity. Staring into Eric's eyes, very demonic-like, I felt a wave of heat close to my chest and onto my face, panting my, cheek, painting my cheeks red in their wake. Couldn't help but not agree to his offer. Yeah, okay. Mm. With another kiss, my heart began to flutter once again. In my chest, my mind was sent spinning in heated, passion-filled 
pleasure, yet I couldn't feel my body drain All right, that's with energy as he kissed Aww. me. Very well. <laughs> I feel so much better. As he pulled away, I was left in a mental mush pool. Felt weak in the knees, despite my will's willing demand to stand straight in front of the boys before me. The world around began to swing as I tried to speak. Uh, I think I'm going to... Uh, where are our manners? I'm James, and these are my brothers. Sam, Eric, Matthew, and Damien. Miss, Ooh. are you okay? Shit, she fainted. <laughs> Lol. I couldn't believe it. In Cuba, it all spun around my head until I saw only black. Floating in the darkness, my mind kept replaying the scene over and over again, reminding my body of the touch of the incubator's lips against mine. However, I began to feel the this, this smooth silk around me, and my eyelids unwillingly opened. Mm, where? I woke to find myself in an unfamiliar, unfamiliar place. Where was Mum? Dad? I was pretty sure this wasn't my room. Oh wait, I live in my grandfather's house now. Of course it would be unfamiliar. I rubbed my eyes and surveyed my surroundings. I was still in the clothes I arrived in that ha in the house, but I was laying in a silk-covered bed. I remember coming in this afternoon, so why was it night time already? Surprisingly, su suppressing a yawn, I stretched my arms. Maybe I should order some food for delivery. I was feeling pretty hungry. I was about to sit up, but suddenly I realized I wasn't alone. Huh? Since when was he saying that? Who the heck was he? A guy in my bedroom did we? Mm, there is no way. Mm. <laughs> Sorry, I think I was saying my thoughts out loud. Why was I apologizing? To a stranger who only said two words since I woke up. Wait, he looks eerie familiar. It all came back to me. Incubus. He was an incubus. He and his brother came here for a refuge, and two of them kissed me, and then I fainted. And that's how things came to this. Oh! He was leaning against the far wall looking at me. My heart began to race, as though a thought of endless possibilities in this situation brought me. I hated the thought of being under an incubus's power, especially in a bedroom. Jump up and protect. I instantly jump up and grab a pillow covering myself with it. I felt stupid, yes, but who knew what this guy could do? Do your worst! This time I'm prepared! He didn't move, I guess he wasn't going to attack me? <laughs> Sorry. I'm One thing still concerns me, though. Powers on you. I can read minds. How? It's an ability I was born with. Each of us has a different ability, outside of our usual mind-altering powers. Great, even more surprises. I grew even more worried about the situation I was in. I, I see. For a few How hours. long have I been asleep? <laughs> it's already gotten quite dark outside. I see. My brothers are downstairs. Where are the others? Cleaning up the blood from the lobby floor. <laughs> and making you dinner as an apology. Oh, okay. That's well, unexpectedly it's the sweet. Least we can do after invading your home and two of us using our powers on you. You got a point. Right after I forgot. Right. I've forgotten about that. It so irked me that they had practically taken advantage of me at that point. Even if they were. Demons. It was pretty rude to demonstrate their powers by kissing me. I wasn't some kind of human plaything. All of this seemed pretty unreal. It's like something out of a romance novel that Nomi sometimes reads. I wish I could have just went back to sleep and forgotten all about this. Maybe I should have just called the police on them. Then I would have uh, never landed you myself well in this situation. Out of bed? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Whoa! Trust me. I won't let you go. I'm uh, not sure I'm sure about this. Uh, okay, I trust you. I was speechless. He was carrying me as I was weighed nothing. Thank he you. was so strong. Huh? <laughs> oh yeah, I, I, I right. forgot. I'm used to it. I decided to close my mouth for the time being, so that I would I wouldn't weird him out or make things more awkward than we were already. Well, he didn't seem to mind carrying me or listening to me talk, so at least things weren't too strange. Damien seemed very quiet and calm about everything, especially with the situation we're in. However, there was a sort of longing in his eyes when he looked at me that wasn't lustful. It was more in admiration? 
Once we reached the lobby, I decided that I felt well enough to walk on my own. As strong as he was, it was like he was carrying nothing. I didn't want him to make me carry him everywhere. Yet, that had been mortifying. Thanks for carrying me, but I think I could walk by myself now. Not saying I didn't like it, I mean, I like it, not in a weird way, of course. It's not like I get carried around all the time. What I'm trying to say is that it was really nice of you to do that. So I had to find more of my words again. It's well no spent. problem. I'll be heading to the dining room then. Alright, see you there. <laughs> he gently lowered me to the ground before he walked off quietly, disappearing into the shadows oh, of the dark hi. lobby. Hi! Suddenly a boy who looked around my age, or possibly younger, bounced up to me. He looked vaguely familiar. Oh wait. Mm -hmm. Uh, That's you're Matthew, me. right? Are you feeling any better now? We were all worried when you suddenly passed out. Really? Your face I'm fine. Is kind of red. Do you feel sick? No, 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 I'm fine. I'm sure of it. I must have been blushing when Dar Damien had carried me well, downstairs. So. Embarrassing. I hope Sam and Eric didn't make you upset. It's okay. After I did hit Sam after what he did, and about Eric. I just wanted you guys to prove to me what you were saying. I suppose Incubi are real, then? I wonder how exactly I got myself into this mess. First my grandfather, then I fight with my father. Blowing up at Lisette, and now this? I certainly had a knack for getting myself into sticky, oh, I have an idea. sticky situations. He shoved his hands in his pockets with a big grin on his Wait face. Wait for it. Is he trying to do a magic trick? Oh, uh, what is that exactly? He smiled as he waded off. When he opened his eyes, he saw that he was holding his face frozen shut. I just make this. This is. Hmm. What he produced from oh, his pocket was a creepy-looking doll. I'm not sure. <laughs> His face paled considerably, and he dropped on the floor, scooting away from it frantically. He might be possessed by a demon or something. That's not what but I wanted to be. But himself. I just wanted to surprise you with a stuffed animal or just something to cheer you up. That looks like it came straight out of a horror Aww. movie. He slumped his shoulders and looked down his feet. Well, it's okay. You don't look so dejected. I mean, it's suddenly unique. But it looks so creepy. I think I'll keep it. It's a thought that counts, right? You wanted to cheer me up after all. I picked up the doll and looked at it closely. Sure, it looked pretty weird at first, but it could be cute if you look at it from a certain angle. I gave him a small smile. Thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. It's good to see you smiling, even though the thing I made still kind of creeps me out. Anyway, you should come with me to the dining room. We're almost finished with the food, and, well, I don't mean to brag, but we're pretty decent chefs. Uh huh. Sounds great, lead the way. That's cute. Him trying to make me feel better so he like does like this really cool magic trick and out appears a plushie. That's so cute. Mmm. Something smells good. My stomach rumbles in agreement. Oh, I was starving. Excuse you, I have a name you know. Sam, yes. I roast that tongue for dinner if it doesn't stop flapping in that idiotic mouth of you. Oh, roasted! Sam, I will roast that. Shh. Whatever. I apologize for his attitude. That's okay. <laughs> oh, that's fine. I hope you'll enjoy the meal we prepared for you. Meal? For a second, my mind didn't understand what James meant. Maybe it was the doll getting to my head and distracting me. Oh, that's right. Damien and Matthew mentioned that they were making dinner as an apology. We oh, wait, you didn't have to. Besides. It's quite impossible to undo our cooking, even if you command us to. Alright, well, thank you? Matthew put down the last little plates on the table and bowed a bit, exaggerating ah, to me, gesturing to the table in a sweet motion. The table was filled with various foods from electric selection. Elect eclectic selection of cuisines. One portion of the table is filled with elegant plated Asian food and another portion some yummy looking dessert. And there, yet there was more plates than I could have possibly imagined. Whoa, it's a lot of food we and it looks great. It, my sweet. Okay, I don't like you. That's what? Sweet me? No. <laughs> You're no fun, James. 
I don't need to be fun, Eric. Miss, please follow me. Thank you. Aww. I didn't know what came over me, whether it was his politeness or maybe his power, but I couldn't help but take his arms and offer. It's his politeness. James seemed very kind and intelligent, but aside from that, there was something that set him apart from his brothers, not to mention he didn't really seem to hold much Miss appreciation for them. Why do you live alone? Oh, well, it, it's I'm kind all of a long story. If you wish to tell. Sure. To where briefly, I just moved here today. the luggage you brought in when you came through the front doors? By the way, we put your belongings in the room you were sleeping in. That seems to be the master bedroom, I believe. Thanks. The house is really big. I don't think I've ever explored you the entirety of the estate when I was a child. No. Truth be told, this is my grandfather's house. I used to visit yeah, him all the time when I was younger. You live in your grandfather's house? He actually passed away yesterday. It was bequeathed to me in his will, and I was like sent to live here whether I like it or not. It seems like you don't like the idea of living here. It's not like I don't like this house, or that I don't have fond memories of being here. It's just the implication that comes with staying in this state. It's kind How of complicated. How do you feel about it? So, I certainly ex wasn't expecting that question, but it was a good way. It was different from what I had heard the entire day at school. I appreciate the fact that he was willing to listen. I feel angry, sad, confused. It's hard to pick out a different emotion than I feel right now. You don't have to be strong. I wish I was stronger. I understand that you're going you through mean? a difficult time, so it's okay to feel those emotions. You don't have to be strong at all. But I feel like I have to be strong. Uh, are you all right? Thank you. There seems to be a small bruise on your cheek. He caught me off guard with that comment. Though no one would have noticed something as small as that. Uh, I'm fine. He stopped and leaned in, a bit too close for comfort. Or maybe it was just me inspecting my face. He was really quite tall, having to bend over so much to look at me straight in the face. It was hard to look at him, especially when he was so close. After a few seconds, he straightened up and well, began walking away. Any problems, I'm always here to listen. My it's really kind of you to offer. Here's your seat. Let me get your chair for Aww. you, lovely lady. Uh, Eric was very charming, and his smile pulled in my heart. The way he kept flirting with me definitely distinguished him as a character of the demon. By Yet the there was way, a little I distance in that. My behavior earlier, stealing your second kiss like that. Huh? Oh yeah, when I didn't believe they were incubi. It's fine, I guess. I mean, you didn't just get up and I'm grab a kiss a for no reason. Unlike Sam. <laughs> I won't lie, Something though. Erlen didn't whisper in my I ear. I enjoyed kissing you and feeling you melt in my arms. Oh, I was talking to me smacking him and trying to play it cool. Ah, uh, smack him. That's going to sting. No. Sorry, I, I panicked. I was expecting that. I drew my attention back to the dishes. I was both intrude and slightly scared by the amount of food they made. Seeing my expression, Eric leaned forward and proudly smiled, judging all the dishes with Max of his arm. Myself. Humorously enough, Matthew looked at him with a shocked expression, as if he was betrayed. His face changed and instantly to that of a frown. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> Me, you, and James did the work together, dummy. It's you, James, and I, Matthew. <laughs> Little boys will always make mistakes. Hey, shut up. Matthew looked at James in, in disbelief. Disbelief. Probably for signing with Eric. And he annoyingly swooped back to Eric to I confront him. I'm you're younger than you. Well, you certainly don't act like it. Haha. <laughs> Really couldn't help but laugh. Matthew seemed very much like a kid. He was adorable. However, I couldn't help but feel like he was way much more huh? mature than the others, especially Eric. Something funny? <laughs> no, 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 it's nothing. Thank you oh. for the meal. <laughs> I love you. You're welcome, miss. Such a well-mannered young lady. Beautiful inside and out. Eric, knock it off! <sighs> In agreement with Matthew, Sam Seriously, cocked up his head and glared at Eric. Really annoying with that suck-up act. 
It was obviously Sam was the bad boy of the group, and he had the he had this big tough act, and it was obvious he was physically stronger than the rest of the guys. But just was there more to him than just that? The young girl has already gone through so much. She deserves a good treatment. There's a difference between being a gentleman and being an obnoxious flirt. Thank you. <laughs> Schooled even by James. You're gonna need some cold water for that burn. <laughs> <laughs> by the way, I don't believe we caught your name even though you know each of us. It's a pleasure to find <laughs> I'm a Jara. Name. Yeah, that's a nice name. Thanks. They're all comfortable around me, despite the awkward situation we were in. It was if it was natural for them to be around humans. I guess that's how incubators work. But I was still curious about one thing. Excuse me. All at once looked at me. I didn't know why, but having all of them look at me felt kind of important. What is it, like a Miss? Queen or something. I wanted to thank you for the food, but I still wanted to know why you all came here. I feel like I don't quite understand. Understand? Yeah, like. Being told a bunch of incubators randomly appeared oh, in your house um, was perfectly understandable. How do we explain? We were attacked. We came here to heal. What's so difficult to understand? Now you're just being rude, Sam. I'm just saying. How is that difficult to understand? No, I mean... Now specifically, what happened? Well, you see, we've been traveling around for quite some time now. Just recently, we came into town, but we were jumped by this band of misfits. So, in order to escape and heal, we came here for shelter. Again, we apologize for the mess we made. It's fine, I guess. Yep. So you're better now, right? To you. Huh, you see, me? beautiful, we feed on sexual energy. But we don't just get it from kissing lovely ladies such as yourself. We can simply touch someone's hand to obtain sexual energy. Everyone carries sexual energy, you know. I was so shocked about their power. It wasn't just kisses that gave them power, it was anything physical. No wonder I was out for a while. Those incubators intrude me, but at the same time I could almost Is hear a warning sign off in my head. Well, yeah. what do you all plan to do now? now James? That is a very good question. We just got here, and surely we'll be hunted again if we leave. We can take them easily. Not without more training, Sam. The result of that yeah. was clearly evident in our last encounter with them. At that moment, I didn't know what came over me, but I suddenly felt sorry for them. They couldn't possibly survive out there, and if they didn't know it was illegal to break into people's houses, they probably didn't know a bunch of other stuff. They probably would cause chaos all over town. On the flip side, they could be taken into questioning and be poked and probed like lab frogs and research. That was even worse. But most of all, they remind me of back then. Ooh, backstory. I was standing alone, the entire classroom filled with laughter and chatter, but I stood in the midst of it, quiet and alone. I was strange. It was strange seeing the whole world pass in front of me with such vibrancy, all while I stood there. On the plus side, I wasn't engage in any drama that might have arise, like scribbling on someone's paper, for revenge or kicking someone too hard. It was kind of nice just standing back and watching things pass by as life goes on. I had long before convinced myself that I prefer being alone. I often said to myself in encouragement, yeah, I want to be alone. There's no one I like better than me, so I just spend more time with myself. But there was a certain bitterness that cooped with being alone. It made me feel so sad. There was a moment between being alone and lonely. I just didn't realize it. And even after that moment, my father, my father, there was no one to turn to. I was so alone. That's when I decided right then. I was going to see my grandfather. I didn't care if my father wouldn't take me. I was going to walk my way over there and see what he had to say about it. I'd never met him. I'd never met. I'd never met seeing him before that. What better time to see him then? If no one was going to help me with what I was feeling, I might as well have turned to him. So after school, I decided to walk there. I had no idea how to get there, and I I was armed with only a scrap of paper and the address scribbled on it. As a seven-year-old, I obviously had great ideas. Soon I became lost, and like I always did I felt when I felt lost, I stood there on the sidewalk 
back pressed against the wall, and eyes looking at the strangers passing by. And like always, people continued to pass by, and life continued on. I was sadder than ever. I had ended up in the situation I was originally in. Nothing had changed. I thought I was silly for even thinking about thinking that I could change things on my own hand. That was until a voice broke my reality. Is that you? I looked up and saw an unfamiliar face, but it was obvious that whoever was talking to me knew who I was. And from that moment, things began to change. Life began moving its rusty joints, and I realized that things were moving along. Suddenly, I be became part of a crowd like a m that moved like a blur past me. I was no longer someone who stood still and watched others hur hurry by. Life had changed. I had changed. Because that very person who found me that day was my grandfather. I had the opportunity to help them. Though, would I? I wanted to, but I wasn't exactly sure it was the best idea. After all, five demons in my house wasn't exactly the living arrangement I imagined when I first moved in. It was a matter of making sure no one found out their powers. Thinking about them as live rats made my stomach queasy. And even if they passed for humans, how would I ever explain having guys living in my house? Imagine my friends came over. They'd practically think I was part of a, a harem or something. Oh god, imagine my parents came over. I think my mum would faint. Who knows what my dad would do. I think he would arrest them on the spot. <sighs> this is hard. Maybe I should have written out a pros and cons list before worry, actually having to make the decision. You have plenty of time to decide. Besides, you should do what makes you happy as well. It was strange. I that ha I happened to remember what my grandfather said to me when I was little, but it did kind of make sense. They weren't in the same exact situation as in before, but I did want to help him out. I think it would ease my conscience and also make me a bit happy to give them help, as weird as that sounds. Clenching my hands into fists, I strengthened my resolve to speak up. Um, what well, was you that, could... lovely lady? Spit that it is, out already. Uh, you could stay here if you'd like. As soon as I finished my sentence, the room became still. I'm not sure what went through their heads from my words. The silence in there cut like a knife till I finally spoke up once more. It seems like you need a place to stay, and well, I just moved into the giant house, so it seems like it made sense. I still quiet in the room, and I kept talking. If you'd like to stay here, though, there are two things yes. I need all of you to follow. First of all, you can't use your powers or deliberately do something that might harm me or any of my guests that comes over. We'll save for enemies, but you get the drift. Second, you have to help me with errands around the house. This place is kind that of big, so yeah. Offer, miss. Are you sure that would be okay? We don't wish to burden you any more than we already have. It's alright, really. I mean, I just started living here myself, so I would oh, appreciate some help around the house. We'll live here and train while helping you with the house. Servants for the lovely princess. What? Are you serious? Shh, be quiet, Sam. I haven't slept in a bed for days. <laughs> I like Damien and Matthew. They all seem to like the idea except for Sam, and hey, I didn't really hate the idea either, but if they were incubi, it would be interesting to have five guys help me take care of the house, given they would follow the rules that I just laid down. But we're not staying here forever. Only until we can beat up that group of punks. I think that is a reasonable time limit for our stay. Yes, this is awesome. Also beautiful. If you need a bedfellow. Eric, um, knock it off. I was happy that when they agreed, she meant something new. Maybe it was because I wasn't going to be lonely for a while. Maybe it was because they all needed help and my want to help was fulfilled. So I would never be sure. For? Let's celebrate and dig in! Finally, I'm starving. Something I can agree on. Instantly, Matthew and Sam began to shuffle themselves, stuff themselves with food <laughs> on the table. I noticed James' eye twitching in irritation, so I staff really? stifled You're my incoming laugh. You're both acting like pigs. Oh, let them have a little freedom, James. It's not like we've eaten recently either. I'm sure they've been starving. Still, that's no excuse for stuffing their faces like backyard swine. I was couldn't hold it in. <laughs> um. So then, I looked back at Damien, who had been silent the whole time. He was leaning against the far wall, moving his lips almost silently to the empty space. 
Beside him. Out of curiosity, I look the same That's way. Found there's nothing there. Huh? I look back to see Damien looking at me with his normal blank face. I couldn't help but stare back, feeling the rent tint of embarrassment spreading across his face. My face. As I stared, Damien gave a very small smile and closed his eyes, returning to his thoughts. Eventually, we all ate dinner together. It was strange eating with just guys, but there was enjoyment to be around. They were made. They made me feel like part of their family as we ate together. How about peace was soon disturbed? Huh? It's my mom. Excuse me. Hey, honey. How are Hello? you? Hello. I'm sorry I didn't get to see you off. Hi, mom. It's oh, everything's fine. I'm good. actually eating dinner right now. Well, there was food there. Well, your father wanted me to call and talk to you about having a house party tomorrow night to celebrate the new house and all. A house party your tomorrow night? So good. soon? You know how he is with events. I know exactly what she meant. She didn't like. He didn't like long, relaxed periods between important events. It was slightly messed up. I was expected to act upon the drop of a dime. Removing immediately the day after my, after a funeral to my grandfather's house now and organizing a party. I know. Well, since I don't exactly have you two here to help me arrange it, oh, we only need some fine. time to prepare things. I mean, Susan and Naomi can help. I have work, and you know how your father is. I know. Sure I have to help myself. He won't help. Honey. I have faith in you. All right, I got Thanks, Mum. I love you, sweetie. Love you too, Mum. Great, now I have to do this? She has to organize a house party for her parents. Huh? How do you- alright, <laughs> my reading. But yeah, I gotta do it soon or my parents will be really disappointed. I have to stay up and organize hey, everything tonight. That's what we're here for, right? I don't see why not. I can name a few reasons why we shouldn't. Sam? Back off! Uh, we'll take care of everything, miss. Just leave everything to us. That was surprising. I didn't think the boys would offer right off the bat. Couldn't help but smile. I was actually rather thankful now I let them stay. Now I don't have to do everything alone as I you think about it. I couldn't help but yawn. <laughs> yeah. It's been a long day. At least tomorrow's the weekend so I can sleep in. Then it hit me. We Wait. Where are you going to sleep? End of the house from the master bedroom. I'm sure those will do just fine. Oh, got it. Alright, then I'm going to head to my room to study and sleep. I guess I'll see you all tomorrow? I will. You too. With that, I left the, ding the dining room and went to my room. No. What? I wasn't going to do anything. Yes, he was. Shh! <laughs> Since I got to my room, a wave of exhaustion hit me. Why am I so tired all of a sudden? I just woke up from a nap. Drive myself to my bed and hold up one of my bags. I opened it and grabbed some my economics book, knowing that no matter how tired I was, I had to study at least a page or two before sleeping at last. The words on the page scrambled in my mind as I read through them, but after two or three tries, I managed to understand what the page was about. Equations. Ugh. I finally decided to change my pajamas and head to bed. Today had been a long day and I needed rest. Hopefully tomorrow will be better. Three days of surprise in a row would kill me. With that thought in my mind, I drifted to sleep and embraced the darkness of sleep. <laughs> you fucking pretty boys think you're all that, huh? Well, save that to the end of my pistol! Huh? What's going on? I couldn't move. I felt like I was tied up. I couldn't see anything beyond the darkness that surrounded me. Yet I could hear the sound of a heated <laughs> argument coming from the old directions. One move and she gets it! Let her go! Come on, shit. Matthew? Shit. Fight us like a real man. <laughs> like you scare me, Sam. Come on. Take one step. I dare you. Stay away Why from me. Why can't I mallets. see? And what are you gonna do, nerd boy? Suddenly I felt myself pulled to one side, arms wrapped around my body protectively. Huh? Eric? As I was held in a tight embrace, I felt the world around me once again settle into a low peaceful hum. The hostility of the dream before had faded into black as the arms around me rocked me comfortably. Slowly through my eyes flooded open, I looked up to see the person holding me. D Damien? 
I stared into the eyes of Damien. His face was painted with worry and concern. I knew he must have seen my dream. Why did I dream of Eric holding you, though? Oh, well, I guess you're right. Yeah, I'm fine. Thank you. What time is it? James and I were making breakfast when I, uh, well... No. You can't control Not my reading. I hope to learn eventually, though. Is everything all right? That's good. Uh, yeah, I'm all right. You had a nightmare. You yeah, sorry for disturbing you both. Besides, we'd rather make sure you're okay before anything. Now, oh, why don't you come downstairs you. with us and have some breakfast? I'm sure some nice food will take your mind off of what you dreamt of. It was embarrassing to be a damsel in distress once again, but I felt rather happy that James and Damien were concerned for me, despite only knowing me for a short time. I was sure of it. I'm sure. I wasn't sure if it was a courtesy or if it was just genuine concern. I couldn't exactly read their mind. Alright. Uh, and with that, I'm going to end this episode here. I'm going to save it. Right here. And here. Yes. I'm going to leave this episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, let me know in the comments below. I don't know why I did that. But yeah. Anyway. Jarrett says in the next video. Sorry, cows, mount. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye. See ya. What the hell is happening in this game? Yes.